Hi guys, hope you're well. So today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to do a winter slash borderline Valentine's Day candle haul for you. But before then, I've got a few random bits uh, to show you. Quite a lot actually, so I am going to very quickly delve in. So the first thing, as promised in my last video, is what my sister and brother-in-law very kindly bought me for Christmas and if you've seen one of my quite old videos you may know that in my bedroom at mum and dad's I've got a couple of Funko Pop like those figurines and it's the Tenth Doctor so the David Tennant one and the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn one and I happen to be a big Harry Potter fan which you may also know if you've watched quite a few of my videos so they very kindly bought me a Harry Potter Funko Pop collection which is really really cute so it's got Main Man Harry Hermione Ron and Dumbledore so yeah there we go and now the next ones are just random and not really what I got for Christmas but I still just wanted to show you anyway because uh, they slightly link into the winter slash Valentine's theme and the next couple of things are actually teas <laughs> and uh, this one is a Yorkshire tea my favorite is PG tips but I must admit I do like a Yorkshire tea as well and I've been umming and ahhing about getting this tea and then eventually I got it so uh, this one is breakfast tea toast and jam brew tastes like a jam on toast and it looks like this and I believe I got it from Morrison's I think so yeah and then yeah it's very pink and red so that's why I kind of thought slightly Valentine'sy. and then this one is from the brand Tea Pigs and it's melt away 15 tea temples chocolate flake tea and it just looks like that tea pigs are actually a pretty good brand as well so yeah and i thought you know chocolate valentine's why not <laughs> and then the next one is some of the new makeup that I bought because every Christmas my brother very kindly buys me a Boots gift card because that's where I usually get pretty much all my makeup and skincare and I threw away my old makeup and I didn't want to use my new one until I showed this so that's why, excuse my appearance, um, but I don't have any makeup on. So, for foundation, the liquid foundation, I always go for the natural collection in the shade Porcelain. And this is the closest one that matches my shade and just gives it that little bit of a bronze tint to it as well. So, I never really change my foundation to be honest and then from the natural collection i also got a powder foundation version usually i opt for warm and then i discovered this shade which was called cool so i thought well i'll give this shade a go see if it's any closer to my skin tone and um, yeah And then 
I always try and get a Max Factor mascara because my nickname that mum and dad call me is Nats Factor and I used to be a big fan of the X Factor so there was also that as well so whenever I see Max Factor I think of my, ni my little nickname from mum and dad so I always quite like the mascara and I always get the uh, black one and this is just standard one that I thought I'd try out I don't think I've particularly had this one uh, before so yeah and it's got a very thin brush and the next one is a Max Factor palette I don't tend to buy those like really cool like big palettes um, because I, personally for me I would rather a handy mini palette with shades that I'm pretty much going to use all of them you know you've got like your lighter sparkly silver shade and then you've got like a brownish matte shade and then you've got kind of like a black one you know so you've got your smoky eye going on or like a silvery one and then there's even like a purple one for like a touch of colour so I tend to gravitate towards these cute little ones where I'm actually going to use like all the shades so it's a bit more worth the money and then I got two lipsticks uh, one that was just I think a standard plum shade from Superstay and it's a liquid lipstick and then this one I remembered the name because it was very cute it's called Caramel Kiss and it's just kind of like a darky nude because I used to wear red but I just felt like it wasn't really suiting me anymore so I opted for caramel and speaking of there actually is a Maltesers hot chocolate that I was going to show in this video but I need to be super quick now and like champagne truffles just to coincide like Valentine's Day but I forgot to bring them actually so I'm sorry about that but I really need to whiz through the candles <laughs> so to start off with I've got the Potter's Crouch Passionate About Fragrance Fireside and it just literally smells like a smoky log fire so very wintry and then wood fire apple and this is from home sense spirit of the wild dw home again good old dw home and it looks like this and it's got a cute little lid that's i've just discovered got like a mousse on it if you look closely and you guessed it smells like wood fire apples <laughs> and then this candle i describe as a sexy candle not gonna lie it's called desire pomegranate noir and it's hand poured soy wax boutique candle and normally I don't gravitate towards um, pomegranate candles or like pomegranate noir but this particular one from a nice little garden centre that is not my local one was yeah it's a very kind of grown up quite sexy type smell and even the bottle is like proper glass and so cute it smells really really nice 
and the next one is Snow in Love Yankee Candle. Now, this is a Christmas scent, but if you've watched quite a few of my videos, you will know that I like to light this near Valentine's Day, just because to me, February is still a little bit wintry. You can actually sometimes get snow here in February. And the fact that there's like rose heart petals, you know, it's snow in love. I love the pun. I love love. <laughs> um, and yeah, it just seemed like a really good one to like near Valentine's. So yeah, and it's just a lovely, subtle, fresh, quite a cool smell and then the next one is sea salt chocolate from home sense guess what brand it is dw home and it is such a cute candle it's got like lovely leaves and berries and you know, again, like chocolate, Valentine's, so good. So yeah, sea salt chocolate, so it's not too sweet. And the last one is Rosebud, because again, rose is Valentine's and borderline approaching spring as well. It'll be nice to light. And it literally just smells like the roses at the bottom of my mum and dad's garden that always come out in like the summertime. So it just makes me think of that. So yeah, and that's from the Wax Lyrical brand. And I got that from Webs. But I think you can get these in a lot of like garden centre type places. So yeah. Apart from the couple of random bits I forgot to show you, um, but I literally probably won't have the time to have shown you. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit random, uh, but yeah, if you did, you know what to do by now. Give it a like and subscribe. It will mean the world to me. And feel free to comment below or follow me on Twitter. I always link it below on my YouTube description down bar and yeah hope you have a lovely weekend to come and i'll see you very soon most likely with a what i got for my birthday video so yeah enjoy your weekend love you lots bye